Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is gonna be my January Dallas card show. First card show for 2021. Let's take a look at some of these cases, see what we can find. Here's some beautiful cards, basketball. We try to look for some cases. I have some uh, pricing on there because uh, you guys were very interested in seeing a lot of these cases and the prices that some of these cards were going for. But this is uh, to wet your palette here. Some beautiful glow, shininess, refractor, silver, prisms. Here's a stand of man. Look at these beautiful mantles. Wow. Willie Mays, Jackie Robinson, Tom Seba, Johnny Bench. Look at this Roberto Clemente, 14,000, grade seven. Luke Derrick, the Iron Horse. Onis Wagner, Joe D. More Mickey. Short print, Ted Williams. Willie Mays. More manos. Ooh, autograph. This guy's setting up a lot of his pre-war cards. Look at all of that. Chock full of tea, tool six, American caramels. T tool fives. I'm waiting for him to finish so I can rummage through here, see if I find some hidden gems. Someone to complete a collection. Look at these beauties. Vintage, vintage, vintage. Here we got some modern autos. Look at that Jita. Bobby Witt. Juan Soto short print. Ronald Acuna. Wow. Fernando Tatis. Look at that super fractal of Vladdy Jr. Jason Dominguez. Out. Auto. I think I'm gonna make it a point to pick up a Mike Trout auto at some point. Look at that Acuna auto. LeBron James. Kevin Durant. Late great Kobe. Michael Jordan, 40 grand. Oof. Another Michael Jordan. Bean team. The great one, Wayne Gretzky. Look at this old peachy one. Joe Montana. Josh Allen. Patrick Mahomes. In Fuego. Look at that auto. Tom Brady, let's go. Who do you got for the Super Bowl? Here's some soccer cards. Soccer has gone through the roof. Gotta give them some love. Look at that Pele. 90 grand. Woo! Wow. That's all that was shown. 
my brother's name for this. One day I have to say, I'll start breaking out my 20s and Beautiful, and beautiful. And yeah, I, just like it. I thought I was losing money on it. But now, though, I was like, you know what? I'm going to sell these way overpriced. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice and cheap all the way. These autographed balls. Wow. Charles Barkley on the baseball? Ronald Reagan. Wow. Tank Man. Joey D, the Yankee Clipper. Wow. Cool Papa Bell. Look at the Negro League. Lee Woody. Stand the man. Pops. Kiwi Reese. So what is that? So he's 18? But seal it. Yep. Nikki. Yep. Eddie Better. Wow. Mark Cuban. Star Wars. Each run show hate. Wow. Look at this. More Negro Leagues. Dick Buckus. Here's some basketball. Shine. Little Zion, Rainbow, Parallels, KD, more Zion, look at that glow, Doncic, Giannis, more Giannis, Trey, look at that glow, wow, these cards are so brilliant, Steph, Woo. Let's take it old school here. For all those who, for all those who like that pre-war, here you go. I'm looking through all of them. I'll tell you what. Now check out this beauty coming up. Heat rose, five grand, floating heads. Billy Mays, Mr. Sunshine. Look at these yazes. I think this one's a little better. Seven. All right. Take care of me. Take care of me. Here's some more about modern day basketball. Trey Young. Thank you, sir. Look at all that glitter and shine. John Moran. That's just PC. Very cool. I Julius saw a stat Irving today. He's rookie. Russell rookie. This year, coming off an injury than he was his MVP year. Who's that? Durant. LeBron rookie. He's, you know, there's a lot of Some more soccer. Messi rookie. Can I take it out just for a second? Two minutes. All these nice the Mbappes can't last around with the Oh, I see it. Okay. He just stepped away. Oh, okay. Magic Johnson, second year. Another Irving there. Now that is beautiful. Bill Rookie. That's a Robinson rookie. That's actually the Bill Russell side. Bill Russell rookie right there. And look at these beautiful refractors. Wait, that's a refractor. Look how beautiful that card is. Look at these beauties. Wow. Good winning champions. You see those two of them. Trispeaker. Ty Cobb. 
Oh, Judge Clark. These pennies. Wow, oh, Oscar de la Hoya. What a Now this guy was selling a set. You gotta check this out. The whole T206 set. Look at that Ty Cobb ride. Wow. I never seen them all together in one shot. Look at that Matt Blagiway. Let me look for Cy Young with Cy Young. There he goes. All these guys. Those are the three Cy Youngs right there. I'm not gonna spend all day looking at these, but figured to show you who binder I found. Nice set. Very beautiful stuff. Now, let's move on. Now for this next one, I gotta do a little music and show you a little slice of heaven. Walking out, wow. Check out what I saw. A real life Honus Wagner T206. There's like 50 or 60 of these known to existence. That's actually Joe Garagiola's card that's consigned. Selling that one. There's a Mickey Mantle rookie card. Grade eight. Jackie Robinson. Oof. Grade 10, pristine, Kobe Bryant refractor. Babe Ruth, 3.5 rookie card. Look at these beauties. Grade nine, Sandy Koufax. These are top shelf beauties. Look at this. Grade 10, perfect Michael Jordan rookie. Grade eight, that's like a $2 million card there. Mickey Mantle, grade eight. He even got first edition Pokemon for all you Pokemon fans. A Charizard, first edition. I heard those go for a lot of money. It's a rare Patrick Mahomes, an Opeachy, grade 10, Mario Lemieux. Just fire. All right. So I'm back. Um, I hope you enjoyed that treat because I was basically shaking when I saw that Honus Wagner right there live and in front of my face without having to go to the Hall of Fame Museum. Um, I never thought I'd see that. I was walking out the door almost. And my friend was like, let's go check out what's in there. And that happened to be the Heritage Auction. They were showcasing some of their high price items and just to see if someone with money would go there and pick something up for one of their uh, consigners. So I'm gonna show you what I came back with, my haul. I didn't go there with any expectations and I went there with a little bit less cash than I did uh, the previous video because the holidays and all, bills, I just uh, went there with a little bit less, but I'll show you what I picked up. This Bernard King, these four with, with a vendor. I picked up some of my vintage cards here. Bernard King, Bill Walton, looking like the Jack Link Sasquatch there. Julius Irving, super action shot. Going up for a dunk, it looks like, over someone there. And... Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with his uh, most famous sky hook. So as you could tell, they were asking for 20 for that one. Five, five, 10. I think I've got them down to like uh, 28, something like that. This is the only one with a little bit off centering, but the rest look gorgeous. Off, they look centered beautifully. Corners look really good and sharp. Then I saw this one in a bin, and I had to pick it up. I'm a Giants fan, and this most famous catch is the most beautiful thing. And it's a sh very short parallel to 299 refractor. So 
I don't know, I fell in love with this card. Picked this up for, I think, like five bucks or something. Four dollars, something there. The Iceman, George Gervin. This is, this one and this one I picked up together for, I think, eight bucks. Mark Jackson, obviously, the two brothers there. I don't have this card. And I know it's so famous for having the cameo there, so I figured I have to pick it up, especially being that I love collecting cards of cameo nature. Here's a rookie card of Bo Bichette. It's to 99. It's Tarot of the Card, Gypsy Queen. Very high on uh, Bo Bichette. Here's one that I picked up that was a pleasant surprise to find someone who doesn't get a lot of pop like uh some of the other running backs do but Ladanian tomlinson this guy ruled the nfl for pretty much like a decade as the best running back to play this one's up to one um 1999 it's a refractor this was i think 40 i think he he wanted 50 for it and i got him down to 40. And I checked, this This thing goes for like double on eBay. So that was a good one. Picked up these two vintage New York Knicks greats. Will Clyde Frazier, Willis Reed. I'm a Knicks fan. As you know, I'm from New York, so I got to stick by my teams. Even though the Knicks suck, that was the heyday. This was in a $5 bin, rookie card of uh, John Smoltz. Why not? Love him as a pitcher. Think he's an underrated pitcher. Great. I got this sticker. Rookie card of Akeem. The Dream. Love this card so much. This guy was bullish on this price. I was really trying to talk this guy down. And he was... We were at a stalemate. He did not want to budge. He was asking for 60 and with the off centering, I was trying to get him to come down a little bit to like at least 50 and he did not budge. And I kind of like this card. I've been looking for this card because it's a great action shot. Johnson is a cameo there. Love that card. This was Walter Payton. This one was cheap. I think I bought like, yeah, these two I think I picked up for like five bucks. They're not that expensive, but the late great Bob Gibson, Walter Payton, Sweetness. I saw this and I picked these up from a vendor. Being that they're in the Super Bowl, who knows if they had another ring. Tom Brady refractor card. And two rookie Gronks. These are refractor cards. It's an X fractor. This one's numbered, I believe. Let me check. Is this numbered? Nope. Thought it was numbered. Or is it this one that's numbered? I thought they were numbered. Might be confusing it with uh, the Ladanian Thomason. Yeah, I got these for about $20 each. Pretty good score on those. Then I saw some more vintage basketball, namely with Wilt the Stilt, Chamberlain. Love this card right here. This is another beautiful one against my Knicks, Bill Bradley, or the Paul Monroe there. And this one, trying to block the great Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Yeah, I got these, I think, for $40. I think this is the most expensive one. But they're in really good shape. Corners looking decent. Maybe grade like a five or higher. Really like these cards. Found this short print of Kyle Lewis for 20 bucks. Couldn't pass this up. Who knows how good this guy could be. This is a unique one. I usually don't go for autographs, but when I saw this one, it struck my fancy for something. And I'm from New York. He went to St. John's University. Great golden era basketball player. I love the way he signed it. So authenticated. As you can tell, the authentication by JSA. Then I got the sticker slapped on on the back of the card by whoever witnessed him signing it. So, yeah, Chris Mullen, part of Run TMC. 
with Mitch Richmond and Tim Hardaway. This guy was stuck on 45 for this price and I got him down to 20. And I basically let him know, listen, I'm not an autograph collector. I'm just intrigued by it. If you want to part with it, I'll do 20. And he, I guess out of the sake of wanting money, he just did it. But he looked a little pissed when <laughs> I told him 20. I found this for 25, Willis Reed. Earl the Pearl Monroe, these are tall boys, so let me back on up. These are my first tall boys. Love these cards. And we're winding down. I found this for 15, these two. My first Ozzy Smith rookie card and Johnny Unitas card. Now this one I know is off-centered badly. But I just love his pose here. Maybe I'll try to upgrade in the future. But for 15 bucks, I was like, for his rookie card, uh, Ozzy Smith and Johnny Unitas, why not? Why not? Had to do it. And I love the centering on Ozzy Smith here. This card is very hard to find centered. So the fact that this was centered, I, I thought it was a win. And my biggest pickup... One that I did not expect to find out there is an old Judge card from 1887. This card is one that I think was priced right without even having a haggle. And I still got him down to 200 bucks for a grade 2 Tip O'Neill. Old Judge. This is part of my Triple Crown collection. I get to scratch off one of the players from the 1800s. And... I am so ecstatic I found this card. I'm going to showcase him in my Triple Crown uh, update. Wow. Look at him just he's catching a ball. Mid-action there. Yeah, so that rounds out my day at the Dallas Card Show. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I try to... Give you a little bit more of what you wanted, which was uh, cases with prices in there so you can live vicariously. Maybe get to know the prices people are asking for for some of these cards. And I'll be going back there for the March one. And we'll see what I can find next time. Thank you for joining me. Have a good one.